there right now? Coach? Right now, because of the consistency, I give an edge to Scotty Barnes. But that guy, Evan Mobley, he sold a creeping, and it would not shock me if he overcome him at some point because of versatility, the thing, all the things that he can do. And then he's a huge part of what Cleveland's trying to do offensively. But when you watch Scotty Barnes, 3D, this kid reminds me of a young Scotty people. And you look at the measurements. He's 6'9", 6'10", long, athletic. He can handle the ball. He can facilitate. He is an excellent defender for a young player. Look at those numbers. He don't take bad shots. He's not out there even though... He's a rookie, and the coach giving the green light, just jacking up threes. He's not a great three-point shooter. And the biggest knock on him coming into the pros is what? He can't ball. score shooting the right, basketball. Right. But guess what? What Scotty Barnes has figured out early in his career, you don't have to stand out in the NBA and j jack up jump shots to average 16, 17 points a game. If he's doing this now and can't shoot, give him a couple years when he gets comfortable and he can refine that shot. It's only going to get better. So when you look at those two players, again, slight edge to Scotty Barnes because he's been a little bit more consistent. But that guy in Cleveland, he's special. Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm going to go with that guy in Cleveland just to, just to give it a little more texture to what he's saying because that guy in Cleveland can guard the five, the four, the three, right? <laughs> probably the two. <laughs> probably some two, right? And, and both similar when we talk about, well, they said Evelyn Mobley couldn't really shoot. I said, well, I didn't see no threes really in NCAA tournament. I saw a lot of blocked shots. I, I saw him run a lot. But I said, wait a minute. There's not too many guys that come into our NBA as a young guy that's a two-way player. When a coach can say, hey, go lock him down, he can do that. Or a coach can say, we're going to pick and pop for you, and you make a good decision, shoot the three or attack the defense. That's why I love Evan Three, you know that you don't need a big center, a big yes. man in college to win. Because it's no zone rules. I'm just right. going to sit in their lap, one yep. guy behind them. Yep. I'm just going to crowd them and frustrate them and yep. dig and do all this stuff. And to, that's why it takes big guys longer to develop. Because college rules... It's against them. When they get to the NBA, yes. that's Good when point. you see big guys game Good flourish point. because the court and the game Wide opens open. up. In college, they're not going to let the guys throw the ball down. And then guards in college won't pass the ball to big guys. They just start <laughs> that jack up shot. Yeah, I, 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 I can't uh, pass. I can't uh, get it uh, in. Uh, yeah. Shoot it. <laughs> we hadn't had the chance, though, to see Cade Cunningham for the entirety of the season. Right. Like, we've gotten the chance to see a couple of the, the, these other guys. But from what you've seen thus far, what stands out? No, no I, I like a lot what I see. I know he had, the, I think, ankle injury. I know he had changed diets at the start of the season. But now he's got his strength back. And everything I saw, the one year uh, at Mount Verde, the one year uh, uh, Oklahoma State, he can flat out play. And with his size, Sam, plays like that, I didn't realize that he'd be able to finish that good around the basket and attack the defense like well, he's shown his last couple games. Yeah, he just got to look. It's just going to take time. He's playing the toughest position. He and Jalen Green, mm -hmm. but they didn't realize coming to the NBA, that's the number one position. For